Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Don't mind my scarf on my head, okay? I'm just laying my little stuff down until I get to the gas station and, and on my way. All right, um, check this out, you guys. I was listening to Tony Evans this morning and <clears throat> this is not gonna be long. I'm just gonna lay this right here for y'all, okay? So one of the, he was talking about being a slave to sin, talking about addiction and, um, you know, the reasons why people are stuck in addictions and different things of the sort. And one of the things he said to me stood out. And he said, it doesn't matter how much somebody prays for someone. It doesn't matter how much, you know, someone acts, acts like they want to um, be free from the sin or from the addiction. If they really don't want to, nothing's going to help. If they don't want to do it, if nothing's going to help. And the reason why is because God has given us free will. So we can pray for someone all we want. And and I've seen this. I've done this. I've seen I've done it in my family. Pray, 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 pray so hard and it's still the addiction is still not gone. The uh behaviors still aren't changed because the person doesn't want to so it doesn't matter how much we pray how much we ask God to do something for someone if they are not in line or they are not wanting to do it if their will is not lined up with the prayer or if their will is not lined up with the will of God for their lives then it's not going to change and that's only that's from experience personal experience and I never thought about it the way that he said it today like hey you can pray all you want you can ask God for all you want but if you are not aligned with what it is to make that change or you don't want to do it then it's not going to happen because God is a gentleman and he's not going to override our free will so with that you guys what is it that you're asking God for, that you are not aligned with? And what prayers are you praying over people and they just don't want to be set free? One of the things that I've started to do, and I, I've done this even before this, because I knew, I'm like, okay, I'm praying for them to not be addicted to this. I'm praying for them to come out of this, but it's not happening, God. So I just started praying for different things. And, and hey, Lord, play somebody in their life to show them your love. Hey, Lord, let them have an encounter with you so much so that they can't deny you. I changed my prayers for these people because I do know what I do know is that once they have an encounter with God, once they are truly impacted by the Holy Spirit, then the change comes naturally. You want to do it, right? You start to desire to be closer to God and you can't live in your sin and continue to be closer to God. So, with that being said, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.